اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پروسیس ماڈل یوزنگ اسمارٹ پی ایل ایس فور ماڈل ون کیٹیگوریکل ماڈریٹا ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک ان ٹو ہاؤ ٹو یوز پروسیس ان اسمارٹ پی ایل ایس فور ود اے کیٹیگوریکل ماڈریٹا وین رننگ اے پروسیس ماڈل ناؤ یو کین ہیو ماڈل ون دیٹ از ہیز ماڈل ون ٹیسٹیڈ ان دا پروسیس ماڈل یوزنگ اسمارٹ پی ایل ایس فور ناؤ ہیئر از دا کانسیپچل اینڈ اسٹیٹسٹیکل ڈائگرام model 1 moderator with categorical moderator now the example variables x one moderator w and one outcome y preliminary notes model 1 assumes that the primary iv is continuous that is your x is continuous your moderator is categorical with multiple categories and your dependent variable is also continuous now iv is this case in this particular example will be SL servant leadership the moderating variable is employment type that is contract versus permanent and the dependent variable is knowledge worker loyalty now how do we run this model and these are the results which we are going to look into now i've got this process model here how to do this for example this is my project i'm going to click here process and This is the project I want my process model in. This is the model or process model type or the model type is process and you can give it a name. Just save it and it will create a new process model. You open it, add your variables from here on the left side. You can hide the indicators. Just simply right click and then hide the indicators. Now, this is the model, model 1B, independent variable, dependent variable, one moderator. Now, how do we run this? Calculate bootstrapping 10,000 bias corrected and accelerated bootstrap one tailed. Let's make it okay. Let's keep it one tailed. Let's say I know the direction of my relationships. Start calculation. Now, once the calculation is performed, go to path coefficients and have a look here. so the moderating effect of the employment type on the relationship between servant leadership and knowledge worker loyalty is significant so what do we mean by this significance this means that with the change in the type of employment the relationship between servant leadership and knowledge wor worker loyalty changes now how does it change if you look here there is a positive sign so when there is no sign with the beta values or path coefficient or in this case original sample this means that it is positive so in this case the relationship between servant leadership and knowledge worker loyalty is positive and this means that if you increase servant leadership knowledge worker loyalty will increase now how is it moderated if you look here there is a positive sign the positive sign leads to or directs to the higher value in the categorical moderator now in this case the higher value or the positive sign points to permanent employees this means that the relationship between servant leadership and knowledge worker loyalty will be stronger when you have a permanent employee or in case the employment is permanent in an organization the relationship between servant leadership and knowledge worker loyalty will be higher or will increase or will improve now one more thing that is associated with this moderation is the slope so how do we get the slope calculate path analysis let's start simple slope analysis Now here is the slope. Now how do we interpret these results? For this, we are going to come back here and let's have a look. The study assessed the moderating role of employment type that is contract zero and permanent one on the relationship between servant leadership and knowledge worker loyalty. Now first, you describe what is it that you are assessing. 
the results revealed a significant interaction now look at this the interaction effect was significant of sl and employment type on the dependent variable and it is positive and significant now this shows that sl impact on knowledge worker loyalty is significantly stronger when employees are permanent in, comp in comparison to when they are on contract now furthermore as shown in the figure look at this this figure here both lines are positively sloped that is when you increase the servant leadership the knowledge worker loyalty increases indicating that sl is positively associated with knowledge worker loyalty for both contract and permanent employees however the slope is steeper for permanent employees green line look at this it's much steeper in comparison to the red line the green line means that your employment is at one that is permanent employees and this shows that it is steeper for the permanent employees than for contractual employees red line now this suggests that positive effect of servant leadership on knowledge worker loyalty is stronger for permanent employees now this is a typo let's correct it here so it's stronger for permanent employees so this is how you can run model 1b using process in smart pls and this is how you can report your results thank you very much